Welcome to our YouTube video. Today, we're talking about something you may not have heard of yet, Lunxin, a Chinese CPU developer that can make competitive processors for both clients and servers. We'll discuss how the U.S. Department of Commerce's entity list has affected Lunxin's access to U.S. technologies, which could lead to major issues for the company in the coming years. Lunxin CPUs are unique in that they rely on the company's proprietary Lung Arch ESA, which is backwards compatible with the MIPS architecture. This means the U.S. government cannot cut off Lunxin's access to the latest CPU's technologies. But, Lunxin still uses American Electronic Design Automation EDA, software and its manufacturing partner SMIC uses U.S. originating wafer fab equipment to develop products. Also, the Chinese government has restricted the export of Lunxin's latest CPUs due to strategic importance and national security concerns. Given all of these factors, the U.S. Department of Commerce may not grant export licenses for U.S. originating technologies to be sold to Lunxin, preventing the company from developing new CPUs using its ADA tools. Additionally, its manufacturing partner SMIC will not be able to produce chips for Lunxin unless they obtain an export license from the U.S. As a result, we could see a significant decrease in the development and manufacturing of actual CPUs for Lunxin. For now, Lunxin is still able to ramp up production of the 3A5000 processor for client PCs, the 16-core 3C5000 and 32-core 3D5000 CPUs for servers. These processors are based on the Lung Arch microarchitecture, which can ensure that its processors can evolve. However, the design for the 6000 series processors, which promise performance comparable to AMD Zen 3, is ready but Lunxin's access to advanced process technologies is uncertain. In conclusion, our current knowledge indicates that Lunxin is at a significant risk of becoming unable to develop or produce new CPUs due to its spot on the US Department of Commerce's entity list. We'll have to wait and see how the situation unfolds in the upcoming years to determine how much of an impact it has on the future of Lunxin. Thank you for watching our video.